back with Let's Talk. And we have in the studio 11-year-old recording artist Raven Simone Williams. You just heard a taste of her music. We also have Jerry Dunbar, Innovative Records, uh, and The Lighthouse. Uh, good morning once again. Good morning. All right, all right. We were just talking about how you guys got started in recording, and Raven gave us a little uh, wrap-up of her situation, Mr. Dunbar, tell us about yours. Well, um, the first time, like I said, uh, what that, uh, I actually went to the studio to actually record was the year 1987, uh, which the, uh, the title of the album uh, at that particular time was uh, Down So Long Been Down Don't Bother Me, which was produced by Mr. Uh, Elton Mitchell, formerly of the Gospel Keynotes. Uh, had a wonderful experience uh, in, in that particular production of the album. Uh, didn't get an opportunity to lead any uh, uh, tracks on that particular album, but I tell you, we really thoroughly enjoyed ourselves uh, recording our first record. It was so amazing, and actually, uh, it helped uh, to widespread for what we do. Right. And how many, I mean, not how many, but you all were from what ages to what ages about being? Uh, at that particular time, uh, the youngest uh, at the time, I believe, was 10 years old, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the oldest, um, I forgot how old Kevin was. Kevin is the oldest. Oh, right. and he don't want you to tell that. <laughs> <now. laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but the, I believe the oldest, I mean, the youngest at the time was uh, 10 years old, yeah, and uh, yeah. we had a great, great time. And have uh, you continued to record? Yes, ma'am. We are continually uh, to record. Uh, actually, since 1987, we have recorded uh, actually five uh, records. At, uh, it's uh, and Max, we got a new one coming out uh, really? Tuesday, April the seventh. Oh, really? Sure. Oh, that's right. And so, uh, you know, so it's going to be entitled uh, "Trusting in Jesus Live." So uh, we're looking forward to that, and uh, I believe God is continuing to shine and rain on us. So uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly uh, grateful for His faithfulness uh, for what He's going to allow us to uh, accomplish. Now, um, I almost was late this morning because I was on. <coughs> on MySpace, and I got a chance to uh, check out the Lighthouse MySpace. When you when you get there, it just begins to play music, <laughs> mm -hmm. it captures you. And this is Black History Month, and one of the things that I noticed was this uh, song that talked about um, the history of um, uh, quartets. Correct. Correct. Tell us about it. Actually, uh, in uh, two years ago, we had the opportunity uh, to go to Augusta, Georgia, where they has a, a particular program, uh, the Golden Drum Awards in Augusta, Georgia. They have the best held every year in Augusta, where they pay tribute to the legends of gospel music. I'm talking about legends such as uh, uh, the Reverend James Cleveland, uh, Pastor Shirley Caesar, the Swanee Quintet, and Joe Lagun and the Mighty Clouds of Joy. And it, 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 it's just an opportunity where they reflect on the legends of people that paved the way for, for gospel music, period. And we had the opportunity, as a matter of fact, we were blessed to get the call to, and was asked to, uh, to actually pay tribute to those that paved the way for gospel uh, music artists today. And we were asked to actually to pay tribute and special music to them. And that's how it all started. And that this particular night, it was uh, maybe about 5,000 people in this particular auditorium. And we were asked to, to, to pay tribute to them. And we paid tribute to them in a special way. And ever since that night, um, it, it's just been a, continua a continuation. And uh, when we decided to record this next CD, which was coming out real soon, uh, we said we would go back and we would not allow that to uh, stop the heritage from where we come from. Yeah. And so we even going to do a part two on the next record. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, and we were grateful. Uh, and it's something that did something for us as a group uh, when, we, uh, when we, we performed in front of them. And as we go across the country now, uh, we can't get off the stage without doing the medley, uh, the medley. <laughs> <laughs> the medley uh, for uh, the legend of quartet music. It's beautiful, it's inspiring, and um, 
You can do a shout out for your uh, MySpace. I don't know how it's listed. Is it listed in Innovative Records? Or it's actually it? listed on uh, www.myspace.com backslash The Lighthouse Center. All right. Uh, it's uh, well worth your time. You'll really be inspired. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now, Miss Raven, not only um, do you sing on your own, but I understand that you also sing as one of the divine angels with your grandmother and sister. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Tell us who they are and what you all sing. to take um, what uh, God has given them, 
but it inspires me or what God has put in me, uh, the thing that God has put in me to, to come out and flourish. All right, Ms. Raymond, any advice? So uh, fear not. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that we're up for a short break. You're listening to Let's Talk 94.9 WTQT. Mm -hmm. 